May our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God our Father, who loved us and by his grace, give us eternal comfort and a wonderful hope. Comfort you and strengthen you in every good thing you do and say. 2 Thessalonians 2, 16 and 17. Wow, the scripture is so rich. Let me just read that again. And um, something just jumped out at me I was, as I was reading it. It says, um, comfort you and strengthen you in every good thing, good thing you do and say. So before this, I was just focusing on how wonderful, amazing our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ is and God our Father who loves us and gives us so much grace and comfort. Um, but I really just caught that last part of the scriptures. It says, comfort you and strengthen you in every good thing you do and say. Hallelujah. I guess it makes sense if you're not doing good things and saying good things. And um, then how can God strengthen us and give us comfort? Amen. I guess it makes sense. But what a rich, powerful promise and scripture for us. God is so good. Well, this morning, I would say happy Friday, but um, I'm not feeling so happy today. Um, this morning, I received... It's, we've been expecting it, but it's the type of news that you know is coming, but you don't want to receive it. My cousin um, texted me early in the morning to let me know that um, his wife's mother, who's been suffering with cancer and tumor, passed away this morning. And um, so I've been weeping um, in my heart and mourning and grieving with them. And um, I, I woke up early this morning around one-ish and I was making plans, looking at my calendar to go see them. December 11th but um now it's too late and um so I just pray I just pray that divine comfort will just fill my cousins my cousin-in-law my nieces and nephew comfort their hearts and their brothers and sisters and um father so it's been a long time since I've lost my parents decades ago, but I do remember how painful, devastating, traumatic, heartbreaking that was. I'll never forget it. And just yesterday, I was dealing with grief um, with my own situation. So I'm not asking for pity because um, I don't need pity. I have the comfort and power of the Holy Ghost to endure and overcome all things. So I'm not looking for pity. I'm just stating the facts that there are griefs that we have to deal with in life. And for everyone, it's different. Different seasons, different types of sufferings and pain and grief. I want to bring this word to um, hopefully encourage and build up your spirit and lift up your spirit, your countenance, and most importantly, point you to our God, our holy comforter. Amen. Hallelujah. We need him more than ever. We all have experienced pain or loss, which has caused grief in our lives. Grief can come from many sources. The death of a loved one, the loss of something important, separation, divorce, job loss, disasters, theft, accidents, and more. Wherever there is grief or loss, there is trauma. And where there is trauma, if we surrender to unforgiveness, bitterness, anger, and rage, and do not respond to the love, the mercy, the comfort of God, where there is trauma, then demonic spirits comes in if we yield to anger, bitterness, rage, unforgiveness, you know, hate, um, resentment. That opens the door for demonic um, activities, demonic um, oppression, 
and spirits to come and harm and hurt and torment our lives. So this is why it's important to run to our Lord and Savior, our Comforter, and ask for the Holy Spirit, our Divine Comforter, to fill our hearts. Amen. Regardless of how much it hurts, we need His comfort. We need His healing grace. We need His presence and His peace. Grief is a natural response to loss. God wants us to grieve so we can process and heal from the loss. And be careful that you give yourself time to grieve and mourn because you can't ignore the pain and the suffering and the aches and the heartbreaks that you have in your heart. God gave us emotions for a purpose. So do not listen to any lies from the enemy or from anyone that tells you you need to toughen up and you need to move on you need to do this and that and the other allow yourself to cry those tears that brings healing is a part of the healing process amen hallelujah all right god wants us to grieve so we can process and heal from the loss in the midst of grief god draws near God provides comfort, giving hope and peace in the midst of grief. Not only that, but the Bible promises that God will wipe away our tears and that he will change our circumstances for the better. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. God sees our loss and knows our pain. He is our comforter, our peace. We look to him so that our hearts can be whole again. Only when we look to Jesus Christ, the healer, when we run to the word of God, the word of God is God himself. Amen. Jesus is the word, the living word. When we run to his word, then we can begin the process of being made whole by his perfect love, by his word, his living word. Hallelujah. So this is why I want to bring the word of God to us. We need to eat his word to heal our hearts, our soul, just like we need to take our medicines, amen, to get rid of headaches and knee ache, back aches, whatever. Hallelujah. We need the living word of God. He sent his word to heal our diseases, our heartaches. Those the Lord has rescued will return. They will enter Zion with singing. Everlasting joy will crown their heads. Gladness and joy will overtake them. And sorrow and singing will flee away. Isaiah 35, 10. To all who mourn in Israel, he will give a crown of beauty for ashes, a joyous blessing instead of mourning, festive praise instead of despair. In their righteousness, they will be like great oaks that the Lord has planted for his own glory. Isaiah 60, verse 3, 61. Even though we're not Israel, but we are spiritual Israel. Amen. Because we are the seeds of Father Abraham. We have been grafted by faith through Christ. So we are spiritual Israel, not physical. So the promises of God is for us who are born again, who are heir of salvation, and who has the seal of the Holy Ghost, the seal of the Holy Spirit in us. Hallelujah. You, God, see the trouble of the afflicted. You consider their grief and take it in hand. The victims commit themselves to you. You are the helper of the fatherless. Psalm 10, 14. Hallelujah. I don't like to be called a victim, but this is the, what they have written here. I do, though, commit myself, commit my hurt, my pain, my brokenness, my fear, anxiety, whatever it is. I do commit it all to him. And when I stumble and fumble, I repent and I get up and I receive his mercy, his grace, his strength to take another step, another day. Amen. Hallelujah. May your unfailing love be my comfort. This is exactly what is comforting me today. I pray that his unfailing love will be your comfort that you'll run to. Thank you, Lord, for your unfailing love. May your unfailing love be my comfort according to your promise to your servant. Hallelujah. 
in order to be his servant <laughs> we need to serve amen out of love that is not out of you know fear or out of obligations but purely out of a heart of loving god because those who obey him those who serve him are those who love him hallelujah so the promises of god are for his servant are you a servant of the lord jesus christ amen then if you are then your the promises of god is for you may your unfailing love be my comfort according to your promise to your servant hallelujah father i'm in pain and i'm experiencing grief in this pain i invite you to be the god of all comfort strengthen me draw near to me and give me hope help me walk through this grief heal me and in your time turn it around and fill me with your eternal joy and hope i break the power of any ungodly grief and command trauma and all its effects to go in your name never to return hallelujah jesus heal every area of my life that has been affected negatively yes lord yes lord yes lord grief will not have power over me sorrow and sighing flee away and everlasting joy and gladness overtake me in the name of jesus amen hallelujah thank you lord thank you thank you for your joy god everything is in your capable hands i ask for opportunities to comfort others with the comfort i am receiving from you i pray that the word of god the promises of god will heal you comfort you encourage you exhort you amen i love you guys be blessed in the mighty name of jesus be made whole in his perfect love for you today amen